Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I am Dr. Milling. So INICT November session is approaching and a lot of students are preparing for it. So there is one question that I am seeing in my comment box is about how many questions to correct to get a good rank. So when I was preparing for my exam as well, this question also baffled me because AIMS never releases their scorecard. So we don't know that what was the exact number of questions that toppers uh, got right. And because of that, different students will quote different uh, numbers. And yes, definitely there is a confusion, but uh, throughout my experience and I have interacted with a lot of toppers, I've analyzed multiple exams, you must have seen <clears throat> my previous videos as well. So here I want to show you some explanation for it because I always uh, make videos which are backed by some explanation. So here, uh, just to answer your question and because in next 30 days to, uh, you know, uh, put your mind at ease, I have uh, made this video. So first of all, this is a result from previous one of AIMS and ICT exam. So this is just for the representation, uh, representation purpose. So if you look at the ranks, so AIMS is percentile. The meaning of percentile is number of people below you. So like rank one has a hundred percentile. That means he has like all uh, other ranks below him. And then comes rank two, three, four. So what difference you can see? One thing that you can notice in these uh, top ranks that all top ranks have a different percentile if you see like from rank one from rank two so everybody has a different uh, percentile up to rank like seven eight uh, like ten so rank 10 11 12 they had the same percentile that means that they have the same number of questions correct or incorrect and the tiebreaker was used like a uh, date of birth or ambiguous percentage so there are different tiebreakers every year so you have to uh, you know keep your eye on that so why I'm showing you this, that if you see the top rankers, they usually have a different uh, percentiles. But if you move further, so if you see between, you know, I have put here ranks between 80 to 110. So there are around seven students who have the same percentile. If you move further, like ranks between 150 to 180 or 190, so there are nine, nine students on the same percentile. That means if you go from 100 to 200. So the students are differentiated by 10 marks so 10 marks or 10, 10 questions i would say have differentiated uh, the students that how many correct you got and how many incorrect uh, the other person got if you move further like uh, about 250 you'll see that around 15 per, uh, students have the same uh, percentile if you move like above 400 you'll see around 24 students have the same percentile so here where when we see a group of uh, 15 you can see that around you know six eight questions so or six eight marks you can say have differentiated these uh, students and here merely four or five uh, marks or four or five questions have differentiated uh, the students between this uh, rank and as you as you as further you move like above 700 so there are 35 students holding the same percentile of 98.262 so this is how the close competition so as you move further from the top ranks the there is you know uh, i will say that you will be stuck in that compartment and you have to you know uh, so more silly mistakes you make you will move further away from uh, the top ranks so that is why the number of questions are different for each uh, group so if we look at this explanation and if i have to put it in a simple table so this is generally what happens so usually top ranks like top 1 to 50 rank they usually have between 160 to 175 correct the reason why i have put more than 175 so usually one i would say 178 177 or something like that because you have seen what i have shown in video the top rankers usually have different i mean you will not see a lot of clustering in the top 1 to 50 everybody will have a different uh, percentile but to get more than 180 in INICT, i think it's difficult because the kind of paper that we have and uh, I have seen top rankers. I have seen, I have interviewed a lot of top rankers. And when I was preparing, I had interacted with top 10 rankers in Ames Delhi. And I have always uh, seen them saying, you know, they get around 160, 170, correct? I have not seen anyone quoting about 180. So usually 160 to 175 is the expected rank. If you are, if you get this much correct, you will end up in 1 to 50. Then uh, between 50 to 200 ranks, you should have 150 to 160. So as I have shown you in the video as well. So there is around every uh, percentile will have around 5 to 9 or 5 to 10 students. So 10 marks or 10 questions will cause the difference of your uh, ranks. Then as you move further between 200 to 500, so number of credits would be around 144 to 150. Between 500 to 1000, around 140 to 144. So the number of credits, the gap will narrow. 
तो एज आई हैव सेड दैट यू नो द मार्क्स यूजली डिफ्रेंशिएट बट आई हैव गिवन यू नंबर ऑफ करेक्ट्स जस्ट फॉर द मैचिंग पर्पजेस देन इफ यू गेट बिटवीन वन थर्टी फाइव टू वन फोर्टी करेक्ट देन यू आर एक्सपेक्टेड रैंक वुड बी बिटवीन वन थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड एंड इफ यूर करेक्ट्स आर बिलो वन थर्टी फाइव फाइव देन यू वुड लैंड अप अबव फाइव थाउजेंड so this is roughly a range between so top rankers will have around you know 13 to 15 of uh, difference then if you go between 150 to 160 so you you will see the difference of around 10 as you move below you will see the number of questions becoming even lesser and lesser and uh, lesser also aims has a positive and negative marking as we all know so that also impacts uh, the score but the range is roughly the same so whenever i used to attempt my paper so whenever i was sure so i'll show you what i used to do so while at the i in during our time they used to give us pen and paper sometimes they don't give but when we used to get pen and paper i used to calculate like this 1 2 3 4 whenever i get like i'm 100% sure so i'll calculate like this the number of correct responses i got so if for example 130 to 140 i'm sure that i am getting these uh, questions right so there is always a error chance of error like plus 10 minus 10 and uh, you will positively you know your score will be impacted uh, as per that so more you are confident about your answers your score will lie in that uh, category so roughly this is the explanation that uh, i wanted to give so finally few words of wisdom trust me you will get your best rank and score in the final exam i have seen most of the students they follow that your inicd paper will be much much easier than your grand test grand tests are very tough and you always most of the times you get disheartening results don't be disheartened by them your nicd paper will be better attempting a paper is equally important as your preparation if we talk about nicd so attempt your paper well and keep positive mindset so i hope guys this video helps you in some way and i wish you all the best and take care